Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do an update of Crossover so that you can use the latest version of the software if you're already running Crossover and you have an older version. I'm going to actually show you two methods to do this. So the first method is the automated method. So in order to update, what we need to do is to open up Crossover and then we can go into the actual menu here and we can click check for updates in the top left hand corner and then we're going to get this new change log so it's saying here that crossover 21.2 is now available would you like to download it and now it contains all of the relevant fixes so here what we're going to do is click the install update button and just let this fully download so once that's completed downloading you can go ahead and click the install and relaunch button that's going to close all the bottles and then apply the update so at this stage, it's asking us whether we want to upgrade our bottles. So normally I just click the upgrade button. However, you might want to recreate your bottles from scratch. And now we have Crossover installed and we have the latest version 21.2. So if you don't have Crossover already, then what you can do is to click the link at the top of the description. If you do make a purchase, I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel. Once you've clicked that link, what you can do is scroll down to the bottom here and click the buy now button. And the version that I recommend buying is called Crossover Plus. And what you should do is apply the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki, and then you're going to receive a 25% discount. So just click buy now. Once you've made a purchase and logged into your account, you can click your profile here and go to downloads, and then you can go ahead and download the latest version of Crossover Mac 21.2. Then all you have to do is to go to your downloads folder and then move crossover from the downloads folder into applications. And if it's saying here to replace, and then once you're in the applications folder, you, then you can just double click on crossover to open it. So the first thing that I recommend that you do is click this blue button, install the Windows application. And to get started, installing something like Steam, if you have a Steam account. And this is gonna allow many of the Windows games to work on your Mac operating system. Here we're gonna click install. Whenever a pop-up comes up like this, just press yes. And a wizard like this comes up, just press next agree and then next and next and install and finish so it's going to go through the steam setup just go through this as well install it in the default location and then click run steam so now we can go ahead and log into our steam account and once we've logged into here then we're going to have access to many of the windows games working on the mac operating system so anyway, that is how you do an update of Crossover. You can actually go ahead and play games like Battlefront 2. Just make sure to check out the DXVK Modern VK update, which reduces stutter. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.